Today's video proudly sponsored by Milwaukee Tools. They sent me this incredible underhood light after I endlessly talked about how much I liked Milwaukee Tools without a sponsorship. They actually decided to give me some things. So that is really cool of them. So obviously I love them. Check them out. And what I want to do today is I have this whole box of fuel goodies here. I got O2 sensors, I got extensions, I got everything under the sun. So what we're going to do first is I'm waiting for the whole rundown and data on my 130s that guy sent. We're going to see how they work out, see how they flow. So what I did was I got a fuel pump, I got all sorts of stuff. Here's what I want to do first. The connectors to go from the stock style truck connector, which is these guys, these are for the 130s. The 130s have the EV6 style connector. This is the stock truck connector that I have on my harness. The connectors for those are super expensive or non-existent. And I plan on getting rid of these 105s that I have. So I have adapters right now. Let's dig them out. To dig this shit out guys. Let's see if I remember how to use tools. Jesus. We'll go over a plan of action here. Alright, I got adapters, as I have said that go to the square Bosch plug. I have my Sunday's best on right now. So here is one of them. So my plan is, this is the Bosch style square to the truck LQ style connector mini timer there Del Delphi there are so many names for this type of connector anyway getting one that goes from this to the 210 style connector and let me give you a heads up quick here there are two different types of 210s right now Varen has the second kind there is another 210 that has the EV6 connector on it and funny information here we send these to Eric all the time to get flowed and at this point we pretty much stopped because they all flow about 207 pounds on Eric's private bench so that's pretty much right there and they're all within 1.46 percent of each other one and a half percent extremely good now what's neat is this is that Toyota Nippon Denso 210 style connector and I bought the leads for it, so I'm going to cut these off and crimp these on so I can go, you know, from my truck harness to the 210. Anyway, what I want to add is Varen has a second part number for these, and they have an EV6. Now, what's interesting about the whole flow and Eric Durr and 207 pounds, a genuine flow, the EV6 one flows about 210, flows about three pounds more. So just like a fun fact for you. And obviously I think the EV6 is easier to get. So much easier than finding a, a certain connector that goes from this to this. So my plan is to pull all the connectors real quick without dumping gas all over the place. Just pull the connectors and start working on, I have not done this in so long. I have to crimp these nice pins on. So this is gonna be my video project with you guys. Crimp these nice pins, cut these off, get this connector on, make sure everything is happy. So that's what I'm going to do first, and then we're going to put the two tens in and get it running and driving. I'm also going to, as you saw, I got a bunch of Junkyard O2 sensors. I have changed the exhaust 25 times, so I stopped putting the O2 sensors in because I was throwing out bungs. I'm going to put O2 sensors back in and put the two tens in and go from there. So... And then depending on when we get the 130s back, obviously they're taking a ride in this car also. So I'm going to pull all these injector clips out, 
We're going to start taking them apart and messing around. I will toss this back here, put this injector back in its little baggie. And then we're going to check the heights on the injectors. I have injector caps. I believe the FID hats will work perfect with these guys and make them exactly the right height to drop in with no spacers. And that would be incredible. If I can pull that off, I would love that. So what we are going to do now is just yank all these connectors and go from there. All right. We got this guy. I'm never, I was never really a fan of these connectors. I always feel like they're just going to bust. Like one day you're just gonna, it's just gonna be in pieces and you're gonna be crying. Really curious. Let's have a little chat here. Really curious to see how these 130 pounders are gonna work out. I honestly don't know because they're China cores and almost, that almost never works out. We will see. I'm gonna be optimistic because in my opinion, that would be the perfect middle road injector because 210s have made pretty much everything irrelevant, in my opinion. And on top of that, if you are if you don't need a 210 and you just want to make some power, you put in the, uh, I'm trying not to make my shirt filthy, you just put in uh, decaps. And if you want more, you go to 210s. Economically, I think that's the best idea. Because why not? Why not just go huge and never buy injectors again? Unless you have like a 4,000 horsepower blown alcohol car and you need Moran 550s or some crazy shit. And at that point, they're so expensive. Arguably, why don't you get like a multi-injector intake built? out of like an Edelbrock mid-ram and put a whole shitload of two tens in it. Cause it's a couple thousand dollars for Moran's. Anyway, I digress. We'll have all these connectors out in like one more second. This went nice and easy. It's almost like I can work on cars. I haven't forgot. I'm still relevant. Well, to some people. All right. Ta-da! All right, guys, I did a quick read-up on how to use these crimpers. It has been a long time, and I never crimp stuff like this, but these nice ear automotive crimpers, and someone in a mail time video that does wiring stuff, I gotta look him up. I feel like such an asshole not knowing, but I'm terrible with names. This does both. As far as I can see, it does the large ear and the small ear all at the same time from the other video I checked out. So, I'm going to take apart this connector. We're going to... Maybe we'll put the lumen stuff all back on, huh? We'll keep it all nice and neat. I got a bunch of stuff out. I have not done this yet. I only have so many, so we're all going to learn at the same time, huh? I guess, realistically, could I pop these pins and stick them in the other connector? That would be a fascinating experiment, huh? I don't think so. Not by the way these blades look let me try to punch the pins out quick let me grab the tool i think i have a pin removal tool probably not the greatest one but one to try oh i have that there we go here's one i got one of these i don't even know where i got it i think i can pull the pin out goes back. I mean, I was never good at this. Don't judge. Don't judge me. I don't know how to... I'd love to take a class on how to do cool stuff like this. Have race wires teach me everything I know. Everything he knows. Yeah. Not going to waste any time doing that. We're just going to cut them. I got plenty of length. So, 
like they said, strip it about four millimeter. Don't need much, just enough to go into the connector and then crimp the thing. So just enough for the jacket to grab and it looks like the middle one is the right size for me. So that's what we're gonna jump straight into. And it looks like it goes through this side first. This is the smaller end. Uh, we get it? Did I ruin a connector? Holy shit, it did it perfect. Honest. Never done that before, but that's the right tool for the job. Beautiful. Damn. Oh, I forgot to put the weather pack ring on it. Can I fit it over the connector? I can. Yep, you're supposed to put this over the wire first before you strip it and everything, I assume. Yeah, we'll just mush this shit out of this one. She'll be fine. Yeah, I don't really know where those are supposed to go. As far as, I guess you just go to put the connector in and then, ta-da. Okay, so we got this guy on. Put the little blue weather pack guy on there, slide it down a little bit. Grab the pin. That was easier than I thought. It was easier than I thought, guys. Let's see if I can, uh, without cameraman Glenn, this is the, yeah, so the, all you gotta do is get the head end in the right spot, and then you're good. It's just, uh, forgive me, I do not have a lot of practice. Uh, making things nice is not my forte. Nope, not in far enough. Pop the tool apart. What if I just do this first? What if I grab the connector quick? Now you can see it pinches the, the back one here and then the middle one there. So what if I just grab this guy, and then stuff the wire in? Yeah, that worked out great too. Perfect. Then, it doesn't matter which one's power and ground on an injector, but these have teeth inside the connector. So, does it need to be, let's take an educated guess. Let's say that the tooth side goes up. That's where the tooth latches onto the connector, obviously. So we'll go tooth up, click, that has to be right. A lot of guessing today is paying off. See, it's, you just gotta do it sometimes. I can't be scared. Oh, and I'm done. I wonder if I could, I'd have to probably trim the other loom a little bit. Let's grab a injector. Oh, I already have one. I'm a douche. I'm like, where's the injector I had laying out? Now we have an adapter that goes to the 210. Sweet. That wasn't hard at all. And then this is the loom. Let's see if we can put the loom back on. I'm going for brownie points today, guys. All the people who do nice wiring are like, Yes! They're loving it. Okay, we'll trim this. And then we'll put the connectors back on and everything. Look at this, it even came with like removable loom management. 
It's a shame that it does not reinstall that. Wow, shit, yeah, guys. Let me put some more light over here. I don't even have the lights on. It's all sunlight coming in. All right, I got the camera right here with me. Hopefully I don't knee it 16 times in an effort to get a better angle on this. So here's the guy and we are just going to pop this connector off. I don't even know, you know, obviously yours may vary slightly. Yours might not even have that fanciness. Ta-da! So, on this, I figured I didn't really get the pin out of it. Couldn't really be bothered with it. Just gonna nip these. Maybe I can get a pin removal kit, reuse those one day after I buy more crimps, whatever. And then again, they said about four mil, but you know, I just did about that much. That one's actually a little bit too much. Who cares? No one's uh, no one's calling the cops on me yet. Good enough. That'll be good enough. And then I grab one of these guys. And then it is the middle adapter for my jawed setup here. And then this guy has the larger section in the back is for the larger head end. And then you can actually pull it up and this one actually has a ratcheting action. So right there, it's ready to rock. So then, we'll set her down. I'll twist these so we don't get any wild hairs. And then, uh, this guy's here, this guy's here. We're gonna drop in that red wire. Yeah, this one's a tiny bit long, but crimp it down. How's it look? Beautiful. Again. That thing does a great job. Quality tool. I forgot to do the, put my yam on. <laughs> forgot to put this guy on ahead of time. So we'll smash it on afterwards. No big deal. Oh, shit. And we're good. And then this guy, on this connector anyway, it just goes to about the end of the connector. Roughly about there. And then what I was showing was inside this connector is a little tooth. And it is on the top. So you want to put this square grabs onto that tooth. So you want to go tooth up and connector up. And then it, it latches. We're going to do that in a second here. We're gonna poke the weather, weather tight seal through. And we're gonna set her down and we're gonna grab Mr. Orange and we're gonna grab Crimpy McCrimpersons. This side is the big end. Put the big end in the jaws. Big end is in the jaws, I repeat. That's a little wild, some bitch. Looks good. Hard to film this and look at it because the camera blocks my eyesight, obviously. Pretty fierce. Okay. Good. Wow. It's amazing. I thought I'd be screwed. I think they sent me just enough connectors to do this and no extras. So again, we got connector up. We got the teeth at the bottom. We flip this guy around and we go tooth up. Tooth up. Click. Tooth up, 
click, done. Again, done though. And then this is obviously a little bit long. I just nick the plastic, rip it apart. <laughs> Man, I'm excited. Put these, give these two tens a hit. I keep saying it'd be neat to make 500 horsepower on like mostly gasoline with like zero duty cycle. This will be everyone is concerned with having the smaller motor and gasoline and the two tens. So I got a little turbo four eight mild, perfect candidate, right? So there's two down. I'm just gonna keep going. And we can fast forward this unless I have some gems or I make some awesome mistakes. We'll keep those in so everyone can learn. Right? All right. Connector and tubing off. Nip the connector. Kick it to the curb. Now technically we can we can strip a little bit less this time. These are great. I cannot remember if someone, I think someone sent me these. My wife had a set too. Is that a little bit too much? I think I always do a tiny too much. It can be less than I think. All right, and then we twisty tie them. Let's try the red one first since I trimmed it pretty short. Or shorter than I think, which is always longer than it needs to be by the time I check out the connector anyway. All right, we got weather strip McGee on the case. We got the connector. Pinch this guy in here so it can't slip out. Take big red. I did that one quick. Yep, perfect. It can be pretty short. It only has to be about as long as that connector there. This guy goes over the jacket and voila. So this one could be like a tiny bit shorter. Technically, let's uh, go ahead and trim it with the cutters. Oh, that didn't feel great. Yeah, we got a little bit of beaker hair going on. Yeah, this ain't bad at all, huh? Could be much worse. Yeah, another beautiful connection. It's like those tools were meant to do this. All right, there they are. And then we're gonna go connector up, head up, twice at a time. Didink, done. This guy, gonna get nipped. Peel. That's number three already. Motor in. These reusable loom things are pretty neat. Pop one, pop the other. Peel, clip. Not much, doesn't have to be much. Nope. Guys, they said snow's coming again up here. Uh, I'm pretty tired of it. At least I got the truck in so I can do these injectors. I can do a fuel pump if, I'm, if it fucking snows a lot. I got some free time. That's a joke. But yeah, I want to get the second pump in. I want to get 
one of these sets of big ass injectors in and then hit the roller and lean on it take an educated lean a little compression perfect I like it like that and like that and like that I'll try to remember but I watched Haltex ECU crimping connector video with Scotty showing how this is done and I'm like oh I could, I could probably figure that out I fast forwarded through a bunch of it I'm like hopefully I didn't miss anything important but I got I got the general idea Think. Think. Yeah. Got the idea. Yeah, it's getting windy AF outside. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Mother Nature. All right, damn, that's four, guys. So we got one, one, two, that's another one. One, two, that's another one. One, two, that's another one. Yeah, we only have exactly as many as we need. So, good thing it's going pretty well. I didn't, if I biff, you know, the first one, that sets the tone for the rest of the day where you throw everything else out, right? I thought I might slip and cut one of the wrong connectors off of this and be mad. I haven't done that either. I'm doing pretty good. No rehearsal. I'm doing it live. All right. Maybe I should put these on before I strip them, make it a little bit easier also, but... The wire certainly doesn't have trouble going on these weather packs. How am I doing on this close-up here? I look at the camera every now and then. I think I'm doing pretty good. Obviously, you just shove this. That one went into my finger. You put this gummy bear on top of these licorice tubes. And you're ready to rock. Again, this way, big end, into the big V, go ground first. This one's being a jackass. We'll just force it. And we came out all right anyway. We just got a little twig, but that's going to be in the plastic connector. That's what I felt. I felt it being a jackass. So see what happens here is this guy pinches the jacket this guy pinches the wire and that's it and I'm gonna do the rest of these because my battery is actually running out of my on my camcorder but I think that's sufficient I think you guys you know you get the idea at this point it's just uh the mumbling is unnecessary as the battery is dying damn So what is this, number five? Only three more to go. So yeah, I'll finish these up and report back. Do twice at a time again. Oh, no, we'll get this one down a little bit more. Do it at the same time. Click, click, perfect. All right, 